Shea Babes, it's Myla Shea. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you scroll down and hit that subscribe button. If you guys are not new, then welcome back. Make sure you guys check out my social media. It will be on the screen right here because if you don't have me on my social media, then what are you doing with your life? You're doing nothing, obviously. So, um, today I am back with a video for the hair company, Lavi Hair. And if you guys have not seen the initial unboxing and review, I will link that inside the description box down below. But today I'm just going to be installing and styling the hair also just ignore my nail i broke it off all the way down to the skin it's so horrible if you guys got me on snapchat or instagram y'all seen it so i might not be able to do a pampering myself for birth vlog but i don't know because i'm still gonna get my lashes my eyebrows done and stuff but i won't be getting my nails done or my feet because why get my feet if i can't get my nails i'm going to be working with lavi hair company and guys i haven't done anything to this hair since i record since i recorded the um initial unboxing video so everything is still like it was i decided not to bleach the knots on the wig i'm just going to do the really easy method of when i put the foundation on my cap and then put foundation on the wig um lace just because the frontal looks really nice it looks pretty pre-plucked and everything like that so we're just going to be working on this wig today as you guys can see the lace is still on there the baby hairs are still on there and yeah we're just about to get into installing and styling this wig also this hair is 156 dollars for the 180 density wig in 20 inches which is exactly what i have so it's 156 dollars and i have a coupon code so if you use the name maya m-i-y-a spelled just like my name you get ten dollars off and no i'm not getting paid for that but basically the wig is like 146 dollars for a 20 inch 180 density wig so that is really nice and it looks pretty pre-plucked and everything but we're gonna see what it looks like once i get it on my head so i am just going to cut off the lace it has lace on the front and the back so let me just cut that off really quick and then i'll be right back i just finished cutting off the lace so you guys can see that all right so now i'm just going to take my liquid foundation and uh put this on the lace just around the perimeter in the front because that's the only part I really care to be showing. So just brushing it on there so that it looks a little bit more natural and looks like I bleached the knots when I really didn't. <laughs> So now that I got that finished, I am just going to throw the wig on my head. See how it fits me. I forgot that this wig does have that clip that I hate, which is, excuse me, which is underneath the frontal. But I'm going, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore it as long as everything else is good with this wig. <laughs> so let's see how it fits me. I do have some pretty big braids under here and it fits good it definitely would have looked really really natural if i would have actually bleached the knots but it doesn't look bad considering i just did the foundation method so let me pull this back and then start with my glue so that we can get this wig to lay down you guys know got to be glued um the spiking glue and then I also use the got to be glue freezing spray. I've done this in so many videos. So yeah, I'm not gonna do a detailed thing. If you guys wanna know how I do a detailed how to make your frontal look natural without bleaching the knots, I'll link that inside the description box below too. Cause I just made that video with a different wig. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll come back when I I'm about to lay the wig down just because I don't want this video to be extremely long and repetitive because I have so many videos that I have done this one. Okay, so now that that glue is tacky, I'm going to pull up the frontal and lay it right on that glue. Now, since I do have baby hairs, I'm going to put it back a little bit farther so that I can lay the baby hairs and I am just laying the front of the wig 
just because I'm not really going anywhere today. So I'm just going to lay this part. As you guys can see, it looks pretty natural um, just from me using that foundation. Let me get the baby hairs to come forward so that I can get these, so I can get them down for when I tie down my hair. I just like to press between where the baby hairs is and where the hairline actually starts. I'm definitely not going to use all these baby hairs. I never like to have a ton of baby hairs, but I am going to press it down right there. Just to make sure everything is laying, honey. This wig is really simple. As you guys can see, all I did was use the foundation, and it looks really good. And like I said, the frontal came like this. So yeah, I'm gonna cut these baby hairs just a little bit before I tie my hair down just because they're in my eyes. That freeze blast spray really does lock the frontal in place. So I'm just gonna tie this down. I'm just going to um, start playing with these curls so we can look at this curl pattern and see what we got working with. This is a loose wave texture. And as you guys can see, this is some big hair. I mean, the 180 density is not playing around. So, you know, I just use a spray bottle with water when I'm doing my curly hairstyles. It's so simple. I'm not really spraying a lot because the curls are really pretty. They were just a little frizzy from being inside the bag and getting thrown around and stuff. I mean, $150, $140 with my um, coupon code. That is pretty cheap. First, let me see where I want my little part or whatever to be. Guess I'll do it like this today. One thing I can say is that you don't get much parting space on this front so I think the parting space starts stops like right here. So you don't get much parting space. All right. Put a little bit. Probably still not even gonna use all of these, we'll see. Spray my baby hair brush a little bit with some water, just so that I don't scar my forehead with a super hard brush. So yeah, just spray with some water and get a little bit more soft. And work on these baby hairs. And I'm just going to, it's kind of hard to explain how to do baby hairs, but I'm just going to swoop it up into the frontal if that makes sense. Uh -oh. I might just add that all together. I could have took my time with the baby hairs for longer, but I didn't because um, I'm about to go to the dentist. So, and that's the only place I'm really going, but um, I don't have a lot of time. Just wanted to get this video done, but this is the hair. Not really getting any tangles. The hair is really thick. Let me spray this side because it's big. I love big hair. And I like the big um, part at the top. 
a lot of people like I always do my curly hair like that and they're like why why do you have that hump at the top that's like why I like my hair like that my hair can lay flatter if I wanted it to but that's just how I like my hair to look I like the big look so yeah this hair is really nice honey as you guys can see i will see you guys in my next video make sure you guys check out this company like i said i do have a ten dollar off coupon code i love it the frontal is nice and like i said the frontal came just like this besides me putting the foundation on it so i hope you guys enjoy if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys i like diamonds i like stunning i like shining